Uh, hello? This is my press conference that they told me I was going to have, but they also keep telling me I'm not supposed to answer any questions. So, I'll just read the teleprompter, then go take my nap. Actually, I'd like to take a nap President, now. Hey, Are we done? Oh, sir, we have questions. You do? You mean, uh, ones they haven't told me the answers to? Is this a trick? No, sir. Are the answers in the teleprompter? No, sir. Am I in the twilight zone? What's happening here? I'm more confused than usual. Sir, can you please just answer some of our questions? I don't think so. I don't have that thing in my ear that tells me what to say. Hey, sir, we just have some questions, me, me. sir. I swear, all my questions are softballs. Can you make them multiple choice and no D, all of the above? That always throws me. I wish I could get the vice president to help do this stuff, but I've forgotten what he looks like. She. What? The vice president is a woman, Mr. President. <laughs> a woman, vice president. Come on, sugar. You can't fool me, woman, vice president. When's that going to happen? Not until the 21st century. She's your vice president. She is? Oh, that's great. Is she hot? Does she look like my sister, uh, wife? Let me know when she shows up again. I'll take a whiff. Mr. Oh, Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Where? Is she here? Oh, you mean me. I'm the president. And don't you forget it, bub. Oh, oh sir, sir. The questions? Oh, sure. Let's go. This is exciting. They usually just whisk me away. Hang on. Is the thing in my ear so I can hear the answers? We didn't know you had a thing in your ear. Oh. Oh, right. Shh. It's just a hearing aid. Yep. Hearing aid. Good call. Mr. Uh, Mr. President, what were your thoughts as you traveled across the globe? I kept thinking, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Over here, here. How did President. you feel abroad? Oh, well, uh, I didn't touch her. No, no, tell us about your trip. Uh, uh, at the G7 summit, I said that we faced new challenges. You mean Russia and China? No, there were two flights of stairs and a stiff breeze. Holy moly. Mr. President, my BFF Vladimir Putin said he does not remember you telling him he has no soul. Doesn't matter, because by the time I finish this news conference, I won't remember it either. Next. <laughs> this is exciting. You know, they usually just whisk me away. Are you angry that Vice President Harris hasn't visited the U.S.-Mexico border? Who? Oh, him. No, I'm angry my grandchildren haven't visited me. Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, undocumented immigrants are reportedly simply strolling across the border. Can you comment on that? Uh, strolling is like walking, but slower and aimless. I do that. Good for your cardiovascular something or other. Oh, would President you please comment on last week's cringeworthy interview by Vice President Harris? Hey, bub, I saw the headline on MSNBC. It said, Worthy Interview. You don't have to include all the words. Mr. Next. President, uh, but Mr. Vice President, President Harris hasn't been to the U.S.-Mexico border. Why is that? I don't blame her. It's too damn crowded. She should just wait until the lines are shorter. Mr. President, but Mr. reportedly, President. thousands of undocumented immigrants have been entering the U.S. We're very popular. If this country was a movie, we'd be breaking box office records. Me, please. Neither oh. you or your vice president have visited the U.S.-Mexico border. I also haven't visited Europe or the bathroom lately. Are we done Mr. yet? President, Do you have any plans to meet with the leader of Israel? I'd be happy to meet with Moses. The last time we met, his bushes were on fire. Damnedest thing. Ever since you assigned Vice President Harris to the border, we haven't heard a word from her. Really? That's nuts. If anyone would have wandered off, I would have thought it would have been me. Kamala's like a granddaughter to me. She doesn't call, she doesn't visit, pulls away when I hug her too long. Hello. What do you think We're about here. the current unemployment rate? It's fallen, and it can't get up. Mr. President, since your wife is a doctor... She is? Good for her. So that's why she gives me my pills. She's not a medical doctor. Failed her bar exam, did she? That college education was a waste of money. No biggie. She'll never have to pay back those loans. <laughs> Yay for my plans. Next question. Hey, you know, Mr. Mr. President, a lot of us worked long and hard to pay back our college loans. Ha ha. Next question. Is it true you're considering continuing construction of the wall on the Mexico border? Well, sure. I'd love to build a mall on the Mexico border. The wall. Sure, no one loves walking in a mall more than I do. Please, what sir, do you think please, of the press corps' request of daily briefs? Well, sure. 
Great. I have a different pair for every day of the week. Don't tell anyone, but I actually have doubles of each in case, you know, of surprises. Oh. What can you tell us about the first lady? Well, her name was Eve, and she enjoyed my hugs. Oh, oh. How are you preparing for your meeting with the dreamers? I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> this is exciting. You know, usually they just whisk me away. Are you hoping for an investigation into the January 6th riot in the Capitol? January, January. See, that month is now caught somewhere between my long-term memory and my short-term memory, so I actually have no idea what the f*** you're talking about. Next! Mr. President, how can we prevent another Wuhan? I don't like rap music, and I stay away from questions about the Klan. Oh, oh, my On turn. a lighter note, people have noticed the groundskeepers doing a lot of work around the White House with new plants and flowers. Was this your idea? Hell no. And is that who that is? I keep going out on the balcony and yelling, Get the hell off my lawn! <laughs> Next! Do you still wear a mask while in the White House? Yes, but I'm not allowed to take it off, except when I'm being fed by my caregiver. I've been waiting! Mr. President, which vaccine did you get? Viagra. Keeps me up at night. <laughs> get it? Keeps me up. Yes, sir. It does really. That four-hour thing is a lie. Took one right before I came out here. Shouldn't be kicking in any minute. Oh, here we go. Uh, nope, false alarm. Not yet. Wait, there it is. Yeah. Nope, that was gas. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Damn. And my Mr. Turn. President, how much? Bingo! We have liftoff. Aborted. That was fun. Didn't feel like four hours. I need a cigarette. Well, that's it for the questions. I hadn't been whisked away, but I think I probably should. Mr. Jill, Mr. can I have my Mr. pills? This was fun. That guy is so smart. Uh, my turn.